Welcome back artistic family to today's pour and I am extremely excited about this one. Uh, you might have heard of the fabulous queen Fiona Art. Um, I will definitely link her channel down below for you guys to take a look in the video description. But she's been doing these, she does wonderful work no matter what, but she's been doing these wonderful marble pours. She's the first person I've seen to do it and start them. And I couldn't find a marble. I don't have one. But you guys know I love movement and I love designs. So yeah, I'm being extremely risky today. And I'm using a huge golf ball. So let's keep our fingers crossed, okay? So let me quickly go over the colors, guys, before I get started. So, oh, you see here, I've got my gorgeous metallics minus the black and the white. So I'm using lots of them, which make me happy. The neutral color palette were related. So I am using the, not pre-mixed. I have to specify that because I used it for so long, but just the regular um, Artist Loft Metallic Silver. I have a slight mound. I want my paints to be um, a little bit thicker because I'm using the golf ball and I don't want it to completely roll off. So that here is the metallic bronze. I have metallic copper, bossy copper, gorgeous color. Haven't used that in a while. Of course, I've got my acrylic flow white. Okay, again, slight mound with the trace. When you have a slight mound, I know it's hard to explain unless you're doing it, you usually, well, you'll always have a trace, okay? Um, and then there's just basically a trace, but we'll get into that when I do how I make my paints. And then I'm still using the uh, Radiant Gold Craft Smart Premium Ultra Bright. I am looking for a new gold. Now that they have the Deco Art Satin Enamel, I'm thinking that I might be in luck to find it because from what I've seen in here, that is the magical gold. Like Amsterdam's and magical products, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold is magic. So I'm excited, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So I'm using a white base, and these colors, and my plan is to do um, somewhat of a puddle. I'm probably going to do them in a little bit of design. I'm not sure. I might do just a regular puddle pour. I might just lay the paint on and layer them on top of each other. Um, I'll figure that out once I lay the base down. So, and I'm so happy, guys. You guys know I love my vertical canvases, and I love vertical, or sorry, my rectangle canvases, and I love vertical compositions. So I'm not going to tilt this off, and I'll tell you why. Um, I don't want to tilt it because I don't know how the, I, like, I'm pretty sure the design's going to be beautiful um, because it makes beautiful designs. However, as you're moving the, in my case, golf ball instead of marble, you end up having, you're, you end up tilting. And because you're tilting, I don't want to take off all the pretty parts until I'm ready, or I can adjust and go in with my skewer or palette knife or do something different if I don't like it. So it just makes more sense to me if I just put my puddle on like this. And again, it's pretty thick. Uh, my base, lots of stuff in it. Uh, not loving flow troll for that reason, I can tell you right now. Um, see my hair, and I got a black speck. Let me torch this again. So I'm using Bare House Paint 7300 Premium Plus, and I do not like it. I got it because I could not find a few weeks ago any of my go to Curls Flow White and I started playing around with uh, pearl testing. So I got that. Um, I hate it. I think I'm going to try a different one. Okay, but my base, as you guys can see here, you'll see in a second, is super, super, super duper. So I'm just covering, but I'm not going off. Okay, so there's a difference. Then I still have the paint that's on here to play with. Um, for moving my stuff around. Oh my goodness, something else. If you guys see anything else, let me know. That was a big one. The first layer that I want to go down, you would think is black, but I don't want the black to mix too much. So I'm going to, going to do, what am I going to do, Shannon? Am I doing the puddle or am I not doing the puddle? You know what? Let's do the puddle, but I'm not going to go completely 
center. Okay, so we're going to lay just one puddle of this over. Okay, I'm just going to move that around just a bit, just to stretch it out a bit. Okay, and then we're going to go in to get it white. That's titanium white, and then we're going to go in. Nope, we're going in with the black. Okay, my goal is to have that black trace and move all around so it adds that extra contrast to all of the colors. And we're going to use that gorgeous bronze. And as you guys can see here, or I'm not sure if you can, but I didn't have the same amounts filled up in these cups. Um, some of the colors are very bossy and some are not. And so I'm aware of oh, aware of that. So you only need to use a little bit of the copper and a little bit of the gold. Okay, so I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, so the base paint, absolutely. Definitely a lot thicker. So another reason why um, I have a hard time judging with the bear. I don't measure and I just find that I can't get the right consistency. this design so far. So because my base is a lot thicker and I thought that I had everything all copacetic, as you guys can see here, uh, a lot of my design, the lines are going really squeakly. And that's okay because you guys know I love movement and I love that. Some people don't, I do. Look at bossy copper. It's not bossy right now, is it? I don't see it at all. Um, and the other thing I don't like about the bear, but I understand because it's a satin enamel and why so many people use it for pearl pours, cloud pours, etc., is you can always see the light triations of your um, the colors underneath that. And this makes sense for like a cloud pour. Okay, hold on a sec. We want some negative space. I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit here on the side. I'm hoping yeah, a little bit of that copper is coming through. Who else is surprised? OMG, people. OMG. Look at the boatload of cells and lacing I got in this golf ball pour of all things. Now, yes, you guys, I've used bare house paint, and I did mix it with Floetrol, and of course, the bare satin enamel, and those two are often used for pearl and cloud pours because of their properties, and they work. And as you can see here, when I'm talking about the bare, um, the darker paints, mainly the black, sunk underneath, it looks very milky is what the bare paint does. Um, I've never really used it with a lot of metallics, and I only started using it because I was out of my artist law flow 
And uh, I bought that and I knew I was starting pearl pours and I knew that um, the satin enamel helps and there was no deco art satin enamel at the time. However, break the golf ball pour. I am just amazed with these cells. They're the exact cells I was looking for in terms of size. They're not too large, they're not too small, but yet I got variations. I do like the small ones. I often get them on the sides, as you guys know. They're super awesome, I love that effect. But I've got the really cool kind of lacing here a bit. And these are just spreading out. I, oh wow. I absolutely love this painting, guys. I absolutely love it. Now, down here, um, well, some of you might think it looks a little funky, um, but I think it works with the composition. Um, having this like gray undertone here and uh, having a lot more negative, negative space because I have so much going on up here. Um, a lot of beauty going on up here. But yeah, I love things that pop out of nowhere that are different um, and but have interest. Don't forget to like the video, share and comment. And if you're not part of the artistic family, please click that subscribe button and hit your notification bells. So you can join and you don't miss any videos.